But there's um, two interventions that I think set us apart um, and that we've spent a tremendous amount of time and energy developing and researching. One of them is mindfulness-based stress reduction. It's um, a systematized, manualized uh, program. There, it's customized to different populations and it's applicable to almost anybody. And you can learn little, little bits of it or you can take the full program. Um, we, in the book, in our book, Tapestry of Health, we talk about exercises you can do to become more mindful, which basically means pre, you know, present in the moment, non-judgmentally. So you're aware of what your environment, thoughts and feelings are, and you navigate that in a non-judgmental way. This allows us to create some space between you and the stress. And uh, we have, um, you know, uh, one of the world's leaders in mindfulness, Dr. Reibel, as our program director, and uh, one of her guided meditations in the book. And our website for the Marcus Institute talks about those programs and provides resources for that. And um, as you uh, mentioned, uh, we even show before and after brain scans in the tapestry book. Another before and after brain scan that we have in the tapestry book is a different intervention, and that's the neuroemotional technique, or NET. This is something that um, often is done with a practitioner for those big stressful events, but we, we do have ways of doing sort of a mini version of it, just for yourself and on your own. And uh, the PDF that we're offering uh, for this session actually shows you just how to do it. So I encourage everyone to download it and you can uh, have uh, your own uh, self uh, NET uh, session um, for people who have those bigger events. Uh, it works like nothing that I've seen. And so we, because I saw that clinically, we decided to research that and have had you know, really dramatic research findings where we do actual brain scans. And so here's one of them from the book. Um, this is page uh, 78, where we have these before and after scans. And if you look at the before scan where the red sort of lights up in the brain, that's where the stressful event is. After the intervention, you'll notice the brain no longer lights up like that. That's the emotional area of the brain that we're focusing on in those um, functional MRI scans. And when that emotional area of the brain lights up the way that it does pre-intervention, that's when you get that whole fight or flight mechanism that I've been talking about, the inflammation and all of the negative consequences. When we do an intervention like the neuroemotional technique, it's, it's shocking to see it clinically because in three to five sessions, we can really create a different version of the person and that's what the research showed. Beyond the brain scans, people rated their distress much lower and it helped with things that I wasn't even expecting from state and trade anxiety to depression scores. So it's very powerful, so much so that we decided to make it a core component of our advanced practice certificate in mind-body medicine. So um, one of the things that we're doing in our department and in the Institute is creating educational programs for other healthcare providers. And one of them is in mind-body medicine and two core things that you learn in that um, certificate program is advanced mindfulness-based stress reduction and how to do the neuroemotional technique. So powerful, uh, you know, Dr. Monty, you've been practicing a long time. You have too, Dr. Bazan. And when I hear you say, Dr. Monty, that the neuroemotional technique works like nothing you've ever seen, I know I need to pay attention 